Hello and welcome back. But what is this? An earthquake? In the skies? It's not possible. We're literally on the top of clouds. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. These are shockwaves. And they're huge. Rayqu that's it. I got it. Look straight up, Rayquaza. And that's the star that's falling from the sky. Yeah. So, this is where we last left off. Uh, off. We had beaten Rayquaza and now we are here. Rayquaza is now noticing the actual star. What is that? It's a shooting star. And it's enormous. It will destroy the world if it continues on its path. I mean, I wouldn't exactly say the world, but a good part of it. I, I mean, it depends on how large this world of them is and how big the shooting star is. So, hard to say. Maybe it actually is a rare occurrence and who knows. Okay, that's why we came Rayquaza. Please destroy the falling star. So that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to lose my hyper beam here, you would not escape unscathed. So, we accepted that from the start. Well said. Yep. And now we will see Rayquaza's hyper beam. Take charge of your destiny. <laughs> hyper beam! Special beam cannon. Okay, yeah. And uh, just, I want to say this now. Uh, th this game has really great animation for its age. Yes, I know we are at episode 33 or 34, I think. And I'm saying this now, but still. What's this? Is this a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes, the star's explosion sh swallowed me, and I'm now adrift as a spirit. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, Gengar? The shadow, Gengar. Kekka, BD2. Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. I have to uh, crank up the music on my part. Ah, now what do we do with you? I know. I'll drag you into the dark world. That will do it. Okay. This is quite dangerous. I We are scared right now. Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to, to be abandoned in a world I don't know like my Valentine? <coughs> Sorry. Um. Huh? Huh? Um. Jenga, are you a little lost? Darn it, I took the wrong path. Ah, I know, it happens all the time. Last time I went to the Shadow Realm, I also took a turn to the left and suddenly I was at McDonald's. Happens. What? <laughs> you two is just confused. This isn't like me, I can't tell which way is which. Huh, to heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it, goodbye to you. Wow, okay, do we now get another adventure or what is going to happen to us? Hey, hey, can you hear? Snap out of it! <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, Gengar apparently did not, did not just ditch us at uh, some place wherever, and even Boom was uh, transported to this place. This place, it is the top of whatever mountain. Ugh. Regain consciousness. Oh! <laughs> and boomed BD2 too. Okay, I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there, Gengar saved me. Did you see this? I find this de development of Gengar interesting. We will talk about this later. Maybe. Did Gengar save BD2 too? Awesome. You're alive. You really had all of us worried. You were incredible. <laughs> I'm so glad you're safe. That's fantastic. Everyone, thank you a lot. Thank you, but... What about the falling star? What happened to it? And this is Xatu doing his stuff again. Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away. The disaster shall soon be calmed. Really? We did it, BD2. Everything worked. We are happy. We have won. And now we are suddenly seeing the entire Pokemon Square. So is this the end of our Pokemon journey? Will we actually get to see more of the stuff? Will we get to see the end of BT2 and Boom? Since Gardevoir actually told us about it? Everything is tranquil and happily in peaceful times. 
This is the greatest. This calls for a celebration. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kill you off. Well, hold it there. Don't you point those things at me. Face the other way, the other way. No, no, let it loose. <laughs> Shit, you this old guy. Why the hell that's called bullying? <laughs> You've got to be. Lombre, Lombre, calm down. I secured him so he can't get away. <laughs> what is this? This is actually bullying. B bullying. <laughs> oh, not bad. Uh, what? You're serious? No, 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 don't. Hello, I'm warning you, BD2. What's this? Uh, the music has stopped. Guard war. We owe everything to you, BD2, and your friends. Okay, it's getting louder, so just in case. Peace has returned to all worlds. Thank you for everything. And now, BD2, your role here has ended. Soon, you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It has finally come. This time has finally arrived. And now there are yellow particles come emitting from me. B2. I am so sorry for this. To everyone. Please bid farewell. And do you see this now? They stopped uh, celebrating. Oh, B2. And now they notice this. B2. Your body. What's happening to you? Boom. Everyone. I, I knew this, and Ariel. This is the classic one. The yeah, first one, the, not the one that's important, boom. And then everyone else, everyone, in a very emotional tone. I'm sorry, but I have to leave. What? What are you saying? Everyone, thank you for everything all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon is ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable. Go back to the human world? Why? I don't understand why do you have to leave? Didn't we? Are we friends? Yes, you will always be my friend, Boom. <laughs> I will never forget you. I will talk about this later. Don't go, BD2. I am blessed to have met you. I. What am I going to do when you're gone? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. BD2. No. No. No! <laughs> uh, yeah. I was pretty emotional when I first saw the scene. So, yeah. I'm going to be a little bit more silent than usual for this one. No! And really, uh, Boom is the one that's most heartbroken after this. Yeah. And now what, what? What's what's going to happen now? Why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? He saved my life, but I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just up and went like that. Why now? Why when the world has been saved, just when things were going to get better? This was coming. Our world, it was saved by him. Uh, I look back now, when bound for the sky. B2 seemed as if resigned, resigned what was about to come. I think I know. B2 must have become a Pokemon to save us. And, the, and when the star was destroyed, he knew that would be the time to leave. Why didn't he tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't he tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, he must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Boom. And that is just the saddest thing ever. And this is now now us. We are emitting, uh, or I, we are emitting a yellow glow, and we are uh, drifting to the sky. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. I cannot skip the text boxes. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I am going. And this... Oh. Almost. Voices. I hear voices. And this is the credits scene, right? Your friend is heartbroken. Instant. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. 
if you wish and wish very strongly. Perhaps you will meet again. This is now the credits. Yes, we have played through the game Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Main Story. This is the uh, main story, there is an after story after this. Um, and I want to talk about my overall thoughts of the, about the game while the credits are rolling. Um, first of all, it is one of my favorite childhood games, if not the favorite childhood game and still it has a very dear place to my heart. It has a lot of difficulty if you think about it. If you try to, I, I, at least for me, if I try to run it like this yeah, on a stream where I'm trying not to level uh, to level as little as possible, meaning that I, uh, the, uh, I, this is the level curve that was intended for the players to get chosen, I am able to enjoy the game at its fullest and it's a hard game, it's a fair game, and also has a lot of emotional moments. This last moment is also really deep if you think about this. BD2 was a human who came from the human world and he was uh, he he was transformed into a Pokemon for different reasons. We know all the reasons but I don't want to reiterate them right now. And he has become friends with Boom. They have formed a rescue team to solve all the if not most if not all the disasters in the world. They are trying to rescue people and now they have uh, finished the biggest cause of all the disasters. They have finished that re the last rescue or their most important rescue and now it's time to say farewell. On both sides they have uh, lived a long time together as best friends basically. If you think about this, every mission we went on, every training we went on basically took on a whole day. And um, just because I didn't show everything, this is actually basically a year-long friendship, if not more. We had a um, time skip in between where Boom and BT2 actually were chased out of the country and where they were fugitives. There is uh, so much that happened between the two of them. And now, it is over. Or is it? Or is it? And now... What is going to happen? I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave, yes. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. And now we see our rescue team base. Boom, Metapod, Caterpie, Bellsprout, Snubble, Charizard, Tyranitar, the Jumpluffs, the Shifri, the Lombre, Boom, and now us coming back with a yellow glow. Lombre is noticing a Boom, and they finally, or oh, they have reunited. They are really glad to see each other, and they are just happy. This is the true end of the story of BD2 and Boom. This was the best ending that I could have wished for. The story of BD2 and Boom ends here. But Force Fry isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. Yeah, I want to... Um, I'm going to make a save here. I don't know, uh, since saving on this emulator doesn't quite work sometimes, I just in case something continued. Okay, this works. Good, 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 good. I was really scared right now. Whoa, due to BD2's and Boom's heroic actions, the falling star was destroyed. And peace returned to the world of Pokemon. But that did not put an end to the natural calamities. Natural disasters occurred, but much less often. Needless to say, Force Fry's rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later. And now we are here. Yep. 
and now Boom actually comes into our rescue base. Good morning, BD2. Did you just wake up? I went by the Pillipa post office earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue jobs. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Let's keep on doing our best as always, BD2. And yes, this was the end of the story of BD2 and Boom, but not the end of the rescue team Force Fry. And this is why we are, of course, going to continue the story. But we are going to do that in the next episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Have a nice day and goodbye.